why are these totally safe for work period ads on the verge of being banned? It's like a crime scene in my pants. Mickey Agarwal's Thanks Period Underwear is the kind of invention anyone would want to shout about from the rooftops. But one ad agency has kept her from getting the word out about the line of cute, stylish underwear that also doubles as menstrual pads. Mickey, who co-created Thanks with her sister and a friend back in 2011, has been struggling to get the brand's subway ads approved by New York City's Metropolitan Transportation Authority and its ad agency Outfront Media. Thanks' stylish ads feature photos of women in underwear and turtlenecks. But despite being about as racy as a JCPenney catalog, Mickey says Outfront told her the ads were too suggestive and that the word period was inappropriate. Mickey tells us she was dumbfounded by the response, especially since the MTA had no problem running seriously sexy Fifty Shades of Grey ads earlier this year. A spokesman for Outfront Media tells PopSugar the ads are still in the MTA review process, adding, quote, we suggested changes that we felt were appropriate for the writing public and we're hoping to work with the advertiser to refine the copy. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah. to be able to actually disrupt a, a taboo subject. In the meantime, Mickey and Thinks are on a mission to destigmatize periods around the world. For every pair of underwear it sells, the brand donates a pack of washable pads to a young girl in Africa, where without them, girls often skip school during their so-called week of shame. But Thinks' battle with the MTA proves we still have a ways to go when it comes to shattering the taboo around periods and women's bodies in the United States too. Because yeah, periods feel bad, but that doesn't mean we should have to feel bad about them. Share with your fierce female friends.